Welcome back to another edition of Gen XYZ. We're three generations working together in the workplace for better or worse. I'm Pete. I'm the Gen Xer. I'm Peter. I'm the millennial. Ooh, <laughs> I'm Ashley. I'm the Gen Zer. This week, we are talking about the hidden job market, how to access it, how to take advantage of it, and hopefully have a big boost to your job search. Ashley, where should we start? Before we get into it, for all our job seekers out there who may not already know, what is the hidden job market? The hidden job market basically means any job that's filled without being publicly posted on a job board or a company website. These jobs are filled through networking and internal referrals, internal hires with people being promoted or through recruiters. And that one, of course, is near and dear to my heart. So we'll talk about all of them in detail. Where should we begin? Well, networking, of course, the best and most effective way to access the hidden job market is building strong professional relationships. You know what they say, who you know matters more than what you know. So networking is a incredibly important skill and all of these points are going to one way or another fall under the networking umbrella. It's something that is necessary to take advantage of any job that falls into the category of the hidden job market. It's about who, as Ashley said, it's about referrals. It's about personal connections. Even if you're an introvert, try and find one or two people that you can really bond with and that you can have a deep connection with. And that is going to help open up doors. It, it, it's something that you have to think about proactively. It won't necessarily happen naturally, depending on the role that you're in or the industry or whether you work at home versus working in an office, right? Networking today isn't what it used to be when everyone was in the same building and same room working together, it was forced. So you may have to be a little creative in how you network today. But there's lots of opportunities that exist online. And what better way to network than going on LinkedIn? Now, if you haven't created a LinkedIn profile already, I recommend you go and do that right now. It's the perfect way to connect with recruiters and other people. And once you're on LinkedIn and you have your profile fully completed, which is important to do, it's time to start engaging. It may feel unnatural at first. It may be something you're uncomfortable with, but force yourself to do it anyway. Start with just liking posts. Follow companies that you're interested in working for. Uh, connect with managers and leaders and executives at those companies or leaders in your industry, and then just start with liking their posts. That's easy. No pressure to do that. And then once you're comfortable, start commenting. And then if you really want to get out there, start sharing your own thoughts and ideas. You'll get much more engagement that way. And as Ashley said, it's a great way to get noticed. In a way, that's part of marketing yourself, which is extremely important and it's a necessary skill to have. You need to be able to talk about yourself. You need to be able to show to a potential hiring manager why you're someone that they should create a job for. You should practice your elevator speech. You should be able to it quickly and succinctly talk about yourself and your skills and all of the achievements that you bring to a role. So make sure that you're practicing that, make sure you're connecting with people on LinkedIn and make sure that you're putting yourself out there in a way that hiring managers can see you, take notice of you and find you. And remember that a tool like LinkedIn allows you to expand your network by taking advantage of your connections, connections. And what I mean by that is you don't always have to seek out people you haven't met before. Look at your past. Who are people uh, that you knew even growing up, friends of your parents? Uh, that's a great way to connect with if you're young and starting out and market yourself to these people who may not realize how far you've come. They may not realize that you're now in the workforce, and that can go a long way towards exposing you to opportunities you otherwise never would have heard about. If you're working at a company and you want to take advantage of unknown positions within your organization, make sure you're staying up to date on internal openings. Uh, reach out to HR, check your internal job boards, because a lot of those positions are going to be opened up internally to your own team before they're looking for uh, external outside people. So make sure you're keeping your ear to the ground. Look for those types of roles if you are looking to advance within your company. Companies almost always want to promote internally where they can, but if they don't know that you're looking, you may never be considered for a new role. So that is a great thing to do, as Peter just suggested stay on top of it, build a relationship with someone in HR and the talent acquisition team, a leader in the group or department that you want to move to if you're not currently in. Again, it's all about being proactive and thinking ahead. That's how you're going to expose yourself to greater opportunities. Stay updated on current events. This is a really cool area that's outside of the traditional networking. This is going to require a little bit of savvy, a little bit of homework, but if a company is 
making some big moves. Maybe they're opening up a new location or they're starting a new department. Keep that in mind, read news articles, read stuff on LinkedIn, and maybe reach out to hiring managers because you might be the first person in the, in the door for new positions that are not even posted yet. So do a little bit of homework, do a little bit of research, and you might be the first person to get access to those types of jobs. To get noticed for a hidden job market role, make your face familiar, not just on LinkedIn, but attend professional events. Take part in local business organizations, attend seminars, join community groups, and build a strong professional brand. And finally, make sure you're working with recruiters. Third-party recruiters exist to fill jobs at companies. Now, I'll tell you guys a story quickly that I saw on Reddit the other day. Someone in one of the job search subreddits complained that they get contacted by recruiters about these jobs, and then they look at the company websites and there's no job posted. And so these recruiters are calling me about fake jobs was the point. And I read it, of course, I had to laugh to myself knowing that's how it works. If a company is looking to hire through a recruiter, they'll never post it on their website. You'll never see it unless you have a relationship with the third party recruiter who is working on that role on behalf of their client. So if you haven't engaged with recruiters, this is as much as anything, the best way that you can be exposed to opportunities you otherwise would never hear about. Definitely a must do to take advantage of the hidden job market. As a recruiting agency, we try not to work on positions that are posted internally for a company. We don't want to be competing with the company, with the recruiters uh, at, a, at a, one of our clients. So we exclusively in the recruiting industry try to work with jobs that are on the quote unquote hidden job market. So if you're working with us, if you're working with a recruiter, you're usually getting access to jobs directly taken from a hiring manager. You're getting your resume sent directly to their desk and you're skipping a lot of that extra stuff. So make sure you're working with recruiters locally in your market, as well as those who specialize in your industry. That's it. The hidden job market. Ashley, Peter, thanks so much. If you've been with us this far, thanks for listening and we'll see you soon. And in the meantime, before we record next, if you want to check out zengig.com, we have lots of details there about the hidden job market, everything else you need in your job search. See you next time. Thanks, guys.